obviously what this LX Sport model is all about is going to be up here in the front. Uh, totally new fascia. Uh, they change out the grill. So what you'll be looking at is a new kind of spider web texture, like what you see in many of the other Lexus models, uh, especially the F Sport model. So you can kind of think of this as the LX F Sport, um, except they, they don't go any extra into the performance. This is a cosmetic package only. But as you can see, uh, the grill now comes sticks out, so you kind of juts out here with your, your chrome trim around it. You also basically get a lower body kit. So this snaps onto the front here, uh, and it does drop down, low, uh, bringing the lessening the ground clearance of the LX, but adding that extra sporty appearance that people will be looking for. As far as your rest of the styling, the headlights do carry over. From the regular model, they are the triple beam LED headlights, as well as your LED fog lights. As you can see though, despite being relatively minor changes, they do really change the overall look of the LX. Um, and I can see that it would be something that people would uh, really be interested in having. Uh, this is based on the LX Luxury model, so you will come with the nicest wheels here. There's also a subtle revision to the mirror here. You have a different type of chrome accent that goes through here uh, with your little LED turn signal. Nothing is different on the side. However, as we move around to the back, they have done some similar upgrades back here. Uh, the main difference is going to be your bumper. As you can see, uh, this lower body kit has carried over from the front so it kind of sticks out a little bit more aggressively. Uh, you've got a little, uh, different kind of molding there as well, just to kind of make it have a more dynamic look. But otherwise, you'll be looking at the same styling. Once again, the full LED tail lights with the three-dimensional design. You still have the spoiler as well as your roof rails. Well, that really hits all of the differences for the LX Sport model um, here on the outside. So now we'll go ahead and hop inside and see what this package adds in there. Now as far as interior differences for this Sport model, you're going to be looking at a lot less um, it came in comparison to what was changed on the outside. Actually, the biggest difference for the Sport model is an exclusive Moonlight White leather color. Um, we've actually still opted to go with the black interior color on this specific one. Um, but just be aware, if you go for the Sport model, you do have that available exclusive color. It's only on that model. Um, otherwise, this interior is going to be based on the Luxury model already. So it does mean it will have the semi-aniline leather as well as all the finest interior materials in here. So you still have leather that goes all from the top to the bottom as well as along through here and your linear espresso wood trim. Go ahead and start it up. Now honestly there's really not a huge amount of changes or anything to talk about in here so I'll just kind of go through a few of the different features. Um, you've got your head-up display. This is a fully loaded model, of course, so this is the very top of the lineup. So it just adds a few things to the, um, you know, fully loaded luxury model. Uh, we do have the power adjusting leather wrap steering wheel, which is heated. Inside of this, you will also find the cool box, so you can refrigerate different types of drinks and whatnot. You get your cup holders, and up here you have your wireless phone charger as well. Now being an off-road focused SUV, uh, the Sport model does not do away with any of the different drive modes, uh, settings for your suspension, four-wheel drive, hill descent, your different modes here. Um, so it's a very, very capable vehicle, of course, being based on the Land Cruiser. You still got your 360 degree camera system with active trajectory, front and rear parking sensors. 
you have an automatic deploying electronic parking brake. Uh, this is your Lexus Inform controller. This controls the display. It is not a touch display. Um, it does not have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay on this either. And then up here we've got our buttons here that still look like uh, touch capacitive, but they are actually physical buttons. So they're very simple to use and everything is reasonably laid out. You got your analog clock here. And then working our way up here, we have our auto dimming mirror with Homelink Universal Remotes. We have our standard size moonroof. There's still not a panoramic one available. And then we have one of our other 2020 changes. And that's going to be this exclusive headliner. This is a very, very wonderful feeling headliner. Super soft. Um, this is exclusive to the sport model. Like I said, it's just added to the luxury. Um, just to give a little bit of extra feel of... Um, specialness to it and it is extraordinarily soft definitely online with like um, the top tier options that you get from bmw and mercedes all right so i'll hand it off to mason he will see if there's any changes in the rear areas Of course, getting here inside of the LX Sport, it is going to have the same features as the regular LX model. Uh, there's really nothing different here in the rear. Uh, so in the center, you have your vents. Uh, of course, you do have some rear window sunshades. Up top, we have the vents for uh, your second vents. Uh, and in addition to that, of course, this is fully loaded in the Sport configuration. Uh, so we do have our own climate controls. Uh, it's four zone climate as well as your heated and ventilated seats. Uh, so nothing really different back here from the regular LX, but it's still a fantastic place to spend time. Now, of course, the tailgate opens in two parts. So to open the top one, just push the button. And of course, to release the bottom one, yank this. And once you look inside, as you can see, there's plenty of space and you have your typical LX uh, folding seat mechanism here. Of course, it is power on this model. Uh, so all you have to do to lower it is just push these little buttons. And it does lower right down. Now we do have something blocking it, um, but in the event that you do, it just folds right down. And we'll just fold it back up to keep it locked in place. But overall, really nothing different here in the rear for the LX Sport model. Uh, and of course, there is plenty of features back here covered in our full review. Now, as you can probably hear, that is the familiar 5.7 liter V8. Uh, there are no changes for the sport model in terms of the powertrain. Um, so it does stay the same with the naturally aspirated large V8, which has plenty of power and plenty of good noises, that's for sure. Yep, 5.7 liters, 383 horsepower. Uh, it's definitely on par with its rivals. Um, now, if you want, you know, the full impressions, of course, just go check out our full review. We did drive this car extensively, um, but actually nothing is different in typical kind of Lexus F-Sport fashion. It's just exterior styling, and that's the end. Now, of course, keeping that signature LX uh, ride and drive, you are going to have a very commanding presence here. Uh, I mean, you're taller than pretty much anything on the road especially sedans and you can even uh, lift the air suspension up to a higher setting than what we're at now uh, to even look you know more and that down. grill is always yeah. one of the most like intimidating looking things to have behind you and um, 
I didn't know you could really make it more intimidating, but I think they've done it. Um, this, this grill is even bolder than the normal version. So uh, the presence is really, it's unsurpassed. I, I honestly, nothing comes to mind that it's gonna be so, yeah. you know, big and in your face and just so commanding on the road. Um, you know, so if you wanna get some people's attention, this is a good, good vehicle to do it in. And you do, of course, have an air suspension, so it's super smooth in here. Um, you know, this is a car that has a six-figure price tag. Um, the sticker on this one is $101,600. I think it's almost $102,000. Uh, so this definitely doesn't come cheap, uh, and you are going to have a lot of features and uh, extremely comfortable ride quality, as you would expect for that type of price tag. But overall, with this Sport Model LX, uh, definitely offers some distinct styling. Whether you like that or not, uh, that will be up to you to decide to your particular eye. But it definitely doesn't uh, hinder anything about this car. It just kind of adds uh, some unique styling to it, in addition to its already super luxurious ride um, and amazing cabin. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this quick look at the 2020 Lexus LX570 Sport Edition. Uh, as always, if you wanted to watch our full review for the LX model, just follow the links in the description. We have plenty of links uh, and a lot more details will be covered in that video. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick look at this LX Sport model. So I hope you enjoyed and be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We'll catch you next time.